I just designed four cubes, scaled them, made them a bit far from each other. You can see that our character has no jumping, no falling, nothing. So this is what this video is made for. I'm going to head back to Mixemo and refresh their, pa their page. And now I will import three animations. Okay, so it's asking me to log in. You will log in with your own email address. I'm just gonna use, oops, my own. You can use your own, oh, error. Your own um, email. It will allow you to log in then. Actually, just log me out because I have the inactivity for 24 hours. Though I did not do that, anyway. So we will search for our jumping jumping uh, up animation first. And this is the one we want, so without skin, for unity, 60 frames, and then just press download. The next animation is going to be Falling Idol. Yeah, this is the one too. Download, same settings, download. And finally, the last one is going to be Falling to Landing. Download, without skin, SPS for Unity, just download it. downloaded so I've got the three new ones just drag all of these into unity inside the player folder let's create a new folder and call this folder jumping inside the jumping folder we will drag in all these three new animations change them to humanoid copy from other avatar and select our avatar vanguard apply changes for all three then select the falling idol just remove that to falling idol in the animation window we'll do the loop time loop pose and bake into pose bake into pose always original original um, we don't want our player to be affected by the movements because we anyway do the jump physically. Just apply, then remove the two and in the animation window again. We don't want to do loop time for this animation. Do work into pose all three again and change this to original, original. So it should be the original values of this animation. And because we only want the landing part, we can take it to 8. It's asking to save. Okay, save. And then remove the 2 again. This one also will have no loop time enabled. First, we can make it bake into pose, original, bake into pose, bake into pose, and original again. And apply. All these three animations look okay. Yeah, they have humanoid. Just open them, select these using command or control, and then do control D or command D. I'm on Mac, so command D. Then delete these FBXs. So right click and delete. We have the three animations ready. Um, this is jumping up, this is falling to landing. Okay. Let's go into the animator window. You can see I've pushed the an any state a bit on the left top and the entry down just a bit below the walking and a bit on the left side. So you can do that too. Okay, now 
I will start by dragging jumping up inside. Make a transition from any state to jumping up. Then a falling idle I will drag in. And make a transition from jumping up to falling idle and make an any state to falling idle too because suppose I got the player jumps off a ledge or something. We need to be able to directly from falling from any state to falling idle as well. Then from falling idle to falling to landing and then falling to landing too walking now from jumping to falling idle have exit time I keep the setting same from any state to jumping up um I'll do that later I think any state to falling idle you press has exit time no has exit time what's that has exit time yeah so select has exit time then add a condition and now let's just made our parameters so add a boolean this boolean is gonna be called our near ground another boolean this one is gonna be called jumping so from any state to falling idle you'll say near ground uh, near ground is false which means there's nothing underneath us and we should basically go into the falling idle and from here just if we have the same has exit time we have. so we automatically switch from jumping up any state to jumping up you will need a condition which is when jumping is true so jumping true then we will transition from any state and from falling idle to falling to landing. Oh. Falling idle to, yeah, so near ground is true. And the transition duration to 0 0.05. And from falling to landing to walking. We will turn off the has exit time. And change transition duration duration to 0 0.05. And inside our condition is near ground is true. And just select next to state in the interruption source so we should be able to be interrupted by the walking animation save project now let's go back into our script we have the same setup for now so we will have to enable jumping and disable it in a short period of time let's look at our animations Line them properly to make it look better. Now let's head back into our script. And first, let's set our near ground boolean. Could have even called it as grounded, but just called it near ground. So near ground, comma, character controller dot is grounded save the project save the script sorry up here make a space and a space uh, just close it we will need an i enumerator function. So i enumerator, and we call this function jump ing bool uh, time. So this method all we'll do is set the boolean jumping to true, and then after a wait of four seconds, 
So yield return, we'll do a yield return new wait for seconds, and um, in the wait for seconds we will write 0 0.1. Sorry, uh, 0 0.0, 0 0.1 f. Then underneath again, then with the symbol, and then it back to false. So jumping, jumping to false. Now we can say start coroutine. Give it the jumping bull time and just call it inside the start coroutine. Save. So this will call this method. This method will then do jumping to true. It will then transition from any state to jumping. And after a small amount of jumping falls, so that we don't re loop. And of course, the time between the transition is more than 0 0.1. So we won't have that problem because jumping will be false again. So you won't have repeating transitions from jumping to from any state to jumping either. Okay, so let's try this out. I've made these funny ramps. Just a few cubes, you can do that too. I'm coming running and I jump. Oh, so that doesn't look so good. Let's try again. Running up top top top. Oh yeah. Oh that's not good. So it is of it is not realistic, not looking really good, Let's see what we can do to fix this, so maybe change the time, hmm. um. near ground is true, near ground is true, maybe we should just remove the near ground is true, and say has exit time, just doing some experiments here, see what will happen so if you don't want to follow right now it's okay you can see the final result anyway inside the front landing before I close it jump and still that's even more odd you can see that's even more it's, it's way too odd now yeah that looks really bad <laughs> that looks funny Um, add another transition, make it back to true. So you see, I just was experimenting. You really didn't need to do that. Let's see again what might be the problem. So if I go with shift selected once and jump. Yeah, it, it is odd. Hmm. So we do have some options. Let's see first, maybe change the transition duration to really small. Now see what happens. Oh, that's so just too snappy, right? Doesn't look at all real. I am currently still experimenting, so you don't need to follow me. What's that? So this transition duration is still can't be touched. Zero point zero five. Uh, yeah, it's still really snappy. Oh, we hit the ground. It's taking time. Like it's really other guys flying in the air for some time make a new transition and delete this guy it's a way better idea that was my idea okay falling idle to our uh, walking we will add this new boolean near ground near ground is true then we do this just go into the walking add exit time is to be turned off and now if we hit play i think i expect a really good result now because i'm running 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 jump Oh, that looks way better. Let's look at that. Way realistic. Oh, awesome. So we're really getting close to the full locomotion system for our FPS full body. What was that? Um, I think the time was too much. Or maybe it just failed something. Because near ground would have been false. I can fly, yeah, jump. 
now let me just do one more thing to see if I'm just falling off a ledge what happens yes I do go in the falling and then back to normal so that looks like a really good result though you can see my shadow also again I can have some fun falling down it's really all I think it's almost done here so now that I'm doing this just drag this entry right where it was originally and because we're not using falling to landing anymore just delete this where the actually have installed it in the first place yeah delete close the folders and close the stuff and now that we've done testing this thing you can even delete it if you want because I'm going to install Pro Builder in the next video so that we can do some simple designing lev levels so that a player can jump about, move and fall to. Pro Builder is really nice little thing for prototyping. So let's just add some comments in the handle anim function. So comment above those three moves, movement. Bulls. This is really just it's building is walking and crouching. Here you can write jumping. Bull, bulls, and here another comment. Um, movement, movement vector. No. These values are floats, right? So movement floats and up here just remove the s because it's just one the other one has to be inside an i enumerator so that we can do it quickly using real time and let's just add some regions so that we can actually close these or shortcut them just close them for some time when we want to work just add a region with a hashtag region underneath the movement and then right where we're done with the movement again underneath the animator region hashtag region underneath we def definition the serialized field node and region do this for all of our types of variables and region and again region then again hashtag and region hashtag region hashtag and region so that's really it. In the next video, we will import, we'll basically install Pro Builder and make a simple testing type of a playground or something. Very simple, we'll make it, but in the next one. So we can jump and check how it works. Of course, Pro Builder is way easier than adding so many cubes. That's it.